A month ago, I was hitting the gym maybe three times a week, and then I got COVID. And it hit me hard. Muscle aches, fatigue, short of breath. So when is it safe to get back to the gym? Stick around to listen and learn. Hi guys, I'm Lane, your friendly doctor on demand for fun and factual health education. Now, if you're like me, you're probably sick of hearing the C word, but COVID's here to stay and we have to learn to live with it. One of the things that has people confused is when is it safe to return to exercise? So in this video, I'm gonna go through the recommendations and share with you my personal story of getting back to the gym. So I first got COVID symptoms on a Monday, about a month ago, which prompted me to do the test and bingo. For the next week, I was in isolation and to be honest, I was feeling pretty crap. So I didn't do any exercise at all. In fact, it wasn't until day 11 that I felt like the symptoms had completely gone away. So back to the gym. The recommendations from sports medicine experts is that you need to give yourself at least another week on top of the first 10 days before you get back into any exercise. Early data is suggesting that returning to high intensity exercise too quickly after a COVID infection can make you more likely to develop the long-term symptoms. So that seven day symptom-free rest period is really important. For me, after 10 days of doing nothing, I was feeling a bit restless. And so I made a point on focusing on my step count. I would walk to our local shops and back, which is about a 20 minute round trip, nothing too strenuous, but it was enough to get the blood flowing. So a week passed, I was day 17, I'd done my 10 days of rest and the seven days uh, with no symptoms and feeling great. Back to the gym? Not quite. So the experts still recommend you have a graded return to play, which means you have to take it in stages, starting with the low intensity exercise like walking, building back to your usual regime. Now, obviously this will be different for everyone, but to give you a guide, in Britain, they have a six stage outline, which means it takes a minimum of 17 days until you'd be ready to return to your pre-COVID routine. I did it over about two weeks. I started on the treadmill, pushing myself uh, from a fast walk to a light jog, 10 minute workouts to start, then 15, 25, Eventually I was doing 30 minutes. Now it is really important that during this time you stop if you notice any symptoms like shortness of breath, brain fog, muscle soreness. You just don't wanna push through the pain because it won't do you any favors in the long run. After using the treadmill for a few days, I was actually ready to take the next step. So I went back to the gym for a moderate intensity class. Uh, I let the trainers know that I was recovering from COVID. They let me take a few extra breaks. Uh, I even got to modify some of the exercises to be lower intensity. So for example, instead of using the rower, I got on the bike. The first class was hard, but certainly not too hard. And uh, most importantly, I didn't pull up feeling too bad or sore the next day. So I'm now one month post COVID, feeling back to normal, so to speak. Uh, this week, I'll probably do a few extra classes, see how I go. But remember, COVID affects everyone so differently. So don't just rely on the guidelines. If you're not sure, make sure you seek advice from a health professional. And above all, listen to your body. If it doesn't feel right, stop. Now check out my next video by clicking on the link on your screen right now. I post new videos weekly, so if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing so you can stay up to date with my new content.